Hey you guys, what's up? This is Ryan Beecher coming back to another video here. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the next member of Dark Matters Alpha Team. <laughs> no, that's not his name, excuse me. Dread Knight. Dread Knight is his name. So, here it is. He's kind of like a bounty hunter of sorts. And yes, we thought that bounty hunter is going to be a part of the Hero Factory. Think again. Think again. A large assortment of weapons. Not really that much to um, trick about him. He has the Breeze 2.0 mask with the uh, 1.0 Stormer helmet. I don't know, it's kind of infuriating. Uh, whatever, you can see his weapons on his back and how they attach. There is this other side. And yeah, um, he does come with two other weapons. He comes with another Hero Factory shield right here. So, yeah, Hero Factory shield. Um, carry. And then he also comes with a little green sword. You know, it's the same color as his eyes and blends in well with his color scheme. You know, a little black phantom blade that he had, so, yeah. And one cool thing is, his blades, he can actually hold his two swords. With these two little blades. And another thing is, they can actually tab onto his, um, his shield. So you can have him wielding little blades on his shield, which is pretty cool to kind of fill in those gaps, which... Does look really nice. Um, another weapon that he comes with is a plasma cannon that stores right on his back, right next to the back of his head. So yeah, I'm gonna have him hold that. There, there you go. Just get a good look at it. Yeah. And then he has two hip mounted blasters. That's supposed to come out with him. That's a little bit damaged. So uh, there's one. Pretty simple design. They're both identical. Just the tabs are on different sides. So yeah. And the final weapon that he comes with is his main personal weapon. Well, his personal favorite weapon. I should say. That being a... Elongated, supercharged snipper rifle. So yeah, he comes with a really big rifle that is said to be powerful enough to shoot through even the toughest of villain armor. So he's got a nice little scope, nice long extended barrel, and a nice long extended scope. And just for comparison. This thing is like really big compared to him. It's like, it's taller than he is. <laughs> this riffle is literally longer than, than Dread Knight is. <laughs> well, not really longer, but taller, I should say. Uh, comparison, uh, let's just do the green guy. His best friend, I guess. So, there he is. So, in terms of lore and backstory and history about his weapons and such, Dread Knight was once and originally one of the first members of the Bounty Hunter clan hired to hunt down and destroy the heroes of the Hero Factory. But after a sense of decency came upon him, he decided to betray his kind and went to join with the Hero Factory. But once the Hero Factory found out about his past, they were a little bit neglectful on having him be joining the Hero Factory. I'm not sure that's the right word. Neglectful. Um, okay, yeah, we're just going to stick with it. A little bit neglectful. Uh, um, 
Andrew Knight proved himself by accomplishing or finishing all three of the of his trials with great ease and managed to join the heroes of the hero factory and went on to a special ops team known as Dark Matters Alpha Team. Dread Knight is a is the uh, team's bounty hunter and has great precision work with his shots and is one of the best sharpshooters the Hero Factory has ever seen, even out running out shooting the ranks of this guy, because this guy's a pretty good sharpshooter too. Uh, his Beskar armor, no, not Beskar, that's Mandalorian. His armor is very powerful that it can practically resist and deflect any blaster fire. Not Beskar armor, of course. Um, his supercharged plasma uh, sniper rifle allows him to shoot through even the toughest of villain armors. And his twin plasma blasters have the ability to nullify and destroy any target he hits. His little blade is strong enough to slice through any armor, as are his two little daggers that he has on his arms. And his single plasma cannon is just a regular plasma cannon. And his shield is said to be strong enough to deflect any blaster fire back at his enemies. So yeah, that's basically for this video review. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share and recommend my videos to those others who you think might enjoy my videos. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out guys. And I also neglected to mention he has the ability to become invisible and the super secret ability that allows him to duplicate himself multiple times.